Hey everyone, this is Ninjax doing another War of the Roses video, and today I want to show you a class that's very easy to do. I know there are a lot of players out there who are a little bit intimidated by the melee combat. They're not good at blocking quite yet, and uh, they're just not comfortable going right into the fray when there's so many people spamming attacks or whatever they want. Um, so this build is going to help you out. Basically, it's about a shield and a short pronged bill. The short pronged bill is a great weapon as a sidearm. It deals a lot of damage. I'm using the Imperial Fighting Style. I'm using the Convex Blades and a standard wooden shaft for that weapon. So let me just sh sh shift back to that class. And there it is. I am using light armor. If you do want to use medium or heavy, you can go ahead. This is just my personal preference. So one thing about the pronged bill is that the stab is still one of the best uh, attacks in the game. Or not in the game, best attacks uh, overall. Just because it's easier to hit than the side swings and it deals pretty much the same amount of damage. Also, this weapon, there are two attack modes. When you press Q, there are different modes. You can see that right now my, uh, my weapon is changing modes right now. You can see it spinning around. So there are two sides. This side is better for cutting. So against medium and light armor, this is the choice you want to go for. But if you're up against a heavy plated armor, you want to go for the other side, this, the, spiked, uh, the spiked side is going to deal a little bit more piercing damage against the heavy armors. Against the shield, you also want to go ahead and use the cutting edge because that's going to do damage. Anyways, jumping into the match, this is a very standard team deathmatch, 100 points to win. Let's go to the fray right now and see what's going on. There's an archer at the back, so I'm going to go for that archer right now. He's aiming at me, so I'm just going to dodge attack. He is drawing his weapon, blocking my down attack, very smart. And swing back for, yeah, that's pretty good, 42 damage. That attacked twice for some reason. So I'm just going to jump for it. Oh my god, he just attacked me right when I, uh, right when I charged in. So, I really want him to hit my shield. The, big, uh, the biggest tip I can give you is you want to let the enemies hit your shield. So you can go in for counter attacks. But in that fight, that guy was just kind of swinging his sword wildly. He wasn't even connecting. So let me go for this guy, backstabbing him. 34 damage for a stab. A miss there, and a 36, and a 3 hit kill. You see that? So that's what this weapon is. It's about a 3 hit kill, or sometimes a 4 hit kill, depending on what damage you're doing. But a clean hit will do around 33 damage, so it aims for a 3 hits. But there is a 45, you see, so it does deal a pretty decent amount of damage if you do aim it well. And there is a very easy kill. Alright, let's go for this guy. This guy knows how to block, because I played him before. He's charging at me, and he's going to miss. There's 11 damage, not the best. Overwing, overhang swing, not going to be able to hit. The overhand swing is a little bit tough to hit, as I explained before, but when you do get it, you can catch people off guard. There's a really good hit, and one more for, his, for a killing blow. It was a 3 on 1, but he made the mistake of being there. Got himself killed. Let's go back into the fray. Looking at this guy with a heavy armor. Let's just go for a quick stab. Nope, not gonna hit. There's a stab, 23 damage. And yeah, he's gonna run away. But uh, yeah, he's got himself in a position where he is surrounded and he's gonna go down. A lot of enemies in the spawn. We're pushing right into the spawn area, no fear. So, gonna push in. Let's go for this guy again. The archer sniping at the back, dodging his attack, and a clean attack for 39 and one more. 3 hit kill and a stab on this guy for 35, he is going to be bleeding and moving in, blocking his attack. Nope. That's fine, I'm just going to stab him and kill him. These guys, like, it's really funny to swing the sword randomly, but they're not really hitting anything. But uh, let's go for this guy, go 2 on 1 him, do some damage to his shield. With the shield, you want to be swinging, the stab is not going to do damage. And you want to be swinging with the, uh, the cutting edge, as I said before. And uh, let's go over there, 32, and then stop. Now he's bleeding, gonna keep pressure on him, not gonna let him heal up. And yeah, he's just gonna shield bash and delay time. He's gonna die eventually. There you go, he's gonna go down. Ooh, a couple guys here. Oh, can I get him? Can I get him? Yes, I got him before, and he's gonna be executing like, a, like an idiot. And free kill for me, right? Bam, right in the face. That's gonna be 73 damage, pretty good hit there. Alright, looks like we're doing a pretty good job controlling the map, but we're not necessarily winning. It's 23 to 21. Still a very even fight. Let's go back to this guy. The key thing with this build is that it will help you learn when to block and when to attack. Yes, nice, 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 nice. Yes. He's gonna go down from, ble from bleeding. There he is. Yeah, as I was saying, a lot of new players, they're not necessarily intimidated by uh, by melee. I just feel like they're not sure you know, when to block, the exact timing of uh, attacking, and things like that. I find this build is going to help them a lot in getting some experience. Most imp Oh shoot, let me run first. The most important thing is learning uh, not just when to attack, but how to attack. 
because as you can see from other examples, people are just swinging their swords randomly. They're not thinking about the timing of the attack, they're not thinking about whether that's going to hit, they're just swinging the sword for the sake of swinging the sword. So hopefully, if you experience a class like this, you don't have to worry about too much about blocking and you want to work on your uh, attacking as well. Alright, this guy is fighting a 2 on 1, he's very bold. Looks like it's going to fight for a 3 on 1, there's a quick stab on him. Let me see if I can revive this guy really quickly. Yeah, he's going to be charging, so he's blocked and a stab. Nope, not going to get a stab on. There it is, now he's bleeding, now he's in big trouble. One more attack, he's going to go down. And there it is. No, only 3 damage. There it is, 20 damage. I don't think I'm going to be able to heal up. I'm going to go back in, go for this guy, and swing. Oh my god, he didn't even block. He didn't even block. So there it is, a very easy kill. 10 and 0 already. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. But uh, surprisingly, the match is still in uh, the opponent opponent team's favor. So going over here, a stop and a stop. I am using a hamstring perk. It's really useful in my opinion. If you can get behind them, hit them on the leg, you get them on the ground, and all of a sudden you get two free hits. So one from the back and one when he's on the ground. So let's go for a fight here. Quick uh, slash for 36. But this is a pretty... Oh yeah, there is another 36 damage, and oh my god, why is their whole team spawning behind me? This is not fair. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I'm probably gonna bleed out if they keep chasing me. Yeah, they're gonna keep chasing me until I bleed out. So I'm just gonna waste their time. If he executes me, yeah, he's not gonna execute me, he's gonna be smart. Executing is a waste of time. But nothing much I can do there. I think I got, uh, I got shot by an arrow. I don't think I got hit by a melee attack, I wasn't sure, but if I got hit by an arrow, there's nothing much I can really do about it, as I said in previous videos. If you're engaged in melee combat and there's an archer shooting at you, you can either retreat or you can kind of gamble and hope that he doesn't hit you. And if he hits you, he hits you. There's nothing much you can do about that. There's a guy over there stabbed for an easy knockdown, and that guy is also bleeding. Let's see if backstop him. There it is, a very quick kill, and a quick charge, putting him on the ground, and there we go. Teamwork taking him down. This guy needs to heal up. There we go. He's going to heal up. Looking at the score right now, 44 to 53. Still not in our favor. But, I mean, the main point of this video is to really just show you this class and see, let you see how effective this build is. Uh, I mean, the main idea is that the sidearm is so powerful. Compared to all these sidearms, uh, this deals so much damage. I mean, you're looking at like 46 damage. I have two hit-plated armors before with this weapon. And not uh, not counting the phase hits, like just two clean pierce at uh, at a full plate, and each hit dealt over 50 damage, and they died. And at the same time, because you do have a shield, if you are intimidated about melee combat, it's going to help you out so much. The fact that you can just hold down the block button, and it doesn't matter where it comes from, you're going to get uh, you're going to get a good defense. So good backstab on this guy, going to take him out really quickly. There's a whole lot of enemies there, so I'm not going to engage right now. And there is also a horseman. He's trying to revive, so I'm just gonna grab his horse and run away. It's, it's so dumb. Like I don't know why people do that. They just dim dismount in front of you and just grab his horse, run away, and all of a sudden he has no horse. All right. Forty-seven to sixty-three. Hopefully we can still catch up. Notice that he's trying to call for his horse again. Let's just get a couple stabs in. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get away here. Not that I'm really scared, but I am in a position where I can get surrounded. Yeah, my teammates are getting killed, and if I engage any longer, I'm gonna be surrounded by the entire squad, so I'm gonna back it out. And there is Logan chasing me, so let me see if we can set up a uh no no ambush. Okay, let's go for let's go for this guy. This guy's healing. Bam! Oh my god, I got hits. Okay, keep my blocks up. And go for this guy. Oh no, I didn't hit him. Blocked up, counter attack, and swing. 26 game. Oh no, I got shot by this guy. I didn't even see him. That's too bad. Let's look at my score right now. I'm at uh, 15 and 2. It's pretty good. What's the top score? Why is this guy 3 and 2 and top of the score? Because of 6 ex executions. The thing about this game is that like, executions don't do so much, but they give you so many points. So you got guys like this with 3 and 5. Uh, three kills, five deaths, and he got six executions, and somehow he's the top of score. Enemy team top score for them is 15 and 1. Wow, doing even better than me. But honestly, they are slaughtering our team. They're just running into our spawn and killing everybody. Look at this. 
Okay, it's quick stab and a charge. No, charge. There we go, that guy's gonna go down. Block his attack, gonna do a quick counter. What? The counter didn't hit. Bam. 21 damage. Swing didn't hit, so I'm gonna keep stabbing him. He's not blocking anyways. As I said before, you wanna focus on stabbing. If they start blocking you, that's when you you can consider mixing it up and doing side swings. But overall, the stab is just so much easier to hit. There's no distance where you have to keep. You can be right up close to them and you can still stab them. So this guy, stab 41 damage. Ooh, nice hit on him. How do you, no. No, stab. Okay, I'm gonna heal and swing. There we go, there's a kill. I basically baited him to move in so I can attack him when he comes into range. Okay, now it's a two on one. This is when your shield really shines, but this is also when I run. <laughs> okay. Stop, no, the stop didn't hit. I think I'm gonna go for the uh, the armored knight first because he doesn't have a shield. It's gonna be a lot easier to work through his defenses. So I think I need one more stab on that guy. He's dead. Yeah, there he is. Now just working on this guy. The shield is a little bit tough. You can either go for a uh, go for a shield and try and break it, or you can try and feign him out. So I'm gonna heal up. Let's see what he does. He's just gonna stand there and let me heal up. So I'm not gonna let him heal. Obviously, I'm gonna charge in, put pressure. 10 damage on the shield, not the best. So what I'm gonna try and do is try and catch him off guard with some feints. No. Nope. Oh my god, watch back. This guy spawned again. So I'm gonna work on the same strategy. I'm gonna work on this guy. Okay, maybe maybe try and it's time to back up a little bit. Okay. The other guy that go down, but uh, the game the round is over. It's uh, 70 to 100. Down by 30 points, pretty significant defeat. So looking at the score right now. Probably not the top. Yeah, 15 and 2. Actually, wait, wait. No, wait, I am at the top. I don't have the best score, but my kill and death ratio is the best. 19 and 2, beating the best on the opponent's team at uh, 15 and 2. So that's pretty much the video for this class. It's very simple. Uh, it's, as I said many times in the video, it's going to give you a decent amount of attack damage, at the same time give you a shield for defense. If you prefer a little bit more defense, go for the medium armor, go for the heavy armor, but the main point is, this uh, build is going to get you into melee combat, it's going to get you the rhythm of going in, knowing when to block, knowing when to attack, and from there, you're, you're going to get better at melee combat, and eventually you can move on to different weapons, and overall you're going to feel more comfortable going into melee, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.